And riding over to entertainment, Lisa Stengel joins us now with your Hollywood headlines. Lisa? Thanks, Andrew. Katie Couric has a big announcement, and Lindsay Lohan says she's trying to get beyond the mistakes of her past again. Those stories in today's Hollywood Minute. Katie Couric is ready to sign off from the CBS Evening program, News for the very last time. The anchor has decided to step down from the nightly broadcast. She tells People.com she's proud of the award-winning work she's done with the team at the Evening News over the past five years. But she says she's looking for a show that will allow her to engage in more multi-dimensional storytelling. Details on her next project are still being discussed. Lindsay Lohan may have been in jail on Friday, but yesterday the starlet sat down with Jay Leno. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 24. Yeah. I've made a lot of mistakes, and I recognize that. Um, but I'm, I'm in the clear now, and I feel like as long as I stay focused, then I will be able to you know, achieve what I want to achieve. The actress was sentenced to 120 days in jail and 480 hours of community service on Friday for a probation violation. She's out on bond while she appeals her sentence. Lohan told Leno the punishment felt shocking and says she feels kind of numb. Johnny Depp is headed back to 21 Jump Street. According to Entertainment Weekly, the actor who starred in the late 80s series will make a cameo appearance in a movie version of the show. The 21 Jump Street film, which will star Jonah Hill, begins production this month. There's just two days to go until the royal wedding, and this morning there was a massive dress rehearsal in Westminster Abbey. The bride-to-be left her parents' house for the last time before the wedding. Kate headed to London. She'll be a princess the next time she returns home. William and Kate attended a wedding rehearsal in Westminster Abbey this morning, which is filled with fragrant wedding flowers, 20-foot trees lining the aisle. The military was also part of the final rehearsal. Almost a thousand service members in full ceremonial dress lined the parade route for a sneak peek at Friday's procession. They're all marching. It was, it was exciting. So if that was exciting, I can't imagine what it's going to be like on Friday. Royal fans are already packing the sidewalks, camping out to claim the prime spots. It's the tension, it's building, um, it's always great to hear the bands play, um, very emotional, um, traditional, and that's Britain for you. The emotion at times overwhelming for those waiting to watch this real life fairy tale unfold. And that's your entertainment report. I'm Lisa Stengel, WUFT News.